That's about an inch, right? That's two inches. Two inches, really? That's what she said. <laughs> The recipe only calls for one. I'm gonna put in one. I would probably put in more if Jabby wasn't eating this with me, but we'll just go for one. Hello people, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are back in the kitchen again thanks to Dwaraka Organic, who is sponsoring this video so we can do another cooking vlog for you guys. So since it's Diwali, I thought it would be really cool to make something, maybe, that you guys might be eating during Diwali. We're gonna be making chana masala. Do you know what chana means? It was at this moment that he knew. He do you know what it means? Good. It is good. Tasty. It, it means chickpea. Chick, chickpea. That was like fourth answer. I was about, <laughs> you took the word right out of my mouth. I was about to say it. And so we're going to make like a chickpea curry or a chickpea dish rather. So yeah, let's do it. Two teaspoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and then we have half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. That smells Good! A quarter teaspoon of red chili powder. Lao Nurt! I put in a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon. I like the spice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've already started to heat the pan, so I think I can put the oil in. A quarter of a cup. All right, there we go. I'm gonna start cooking the onions for six to eight minutes until they get golden. I forgot something in the recipe. I forgot the cumin seeds. I was supposed to put them in with the onions. Is it golden yet? It's smelling good. I think we're close. It's getting hot in the kitchen. One eternity later. This is pretty golden looking. I'm hoping it is. Add the garlic, ginger, and green chili pepper and saute. All right, let's saute this baby. How's it smelling, Jabby? It smells delicious. I'm hungry. I want to eat. Is it ready? No. Holding this gosh darn camera makes one hungry. Don't worry. I will feed you well. I'm very hungry right now. Achara said, you can't eat yet. You can't eat. We're going to we're gonna make the food. That was 12 hours ago. <laughs> this is what I look like when I'm in the sun for five minutes. <laughs> Now we're gonna add those yummy Dwaraka spices. Wow, look at the colors. That's beautiful. Mix in the chickpeas, baking powder, and two cups of water. Well, it looks like pani puri. Ooh, yeah. Apparently the baking powder makes the chickpeas really soft, but I guess it's like optional. Wait, when do I add? Where is the tomatoes? Oh, I was supposed to add the tomatoes before. I'm sure it's fine. It's all going in the same thing. I'm just a foreigner trying to cook Indian food and apparently I don't know how to read directions. It's all going in the same place, right? It is all going in the same place. Right there. <laughs> and then eventually out that way. But you don't need to think about that. Did you know that Dwarka has three organic certifications? It has Indian organic certification, it's USDA organic compliant, and follows one cert standards. So you know this is legit. It's proper organic. And I love that they also really care about the well-being of the farmers, the well-being of the land. I think that's one of the important reasons, or one of the main reasons why you'd want to go organic anyway, is just, you know, the farming practices are really great. And you know you're getting some yummy, tasty, wholesome food with no pesticides and chemicals. All right, is it ready to be consumed yet? No, but I think it might be ready to simmer for a while. And now we wait for 25 minutes. Yay! So it has been just over 25 minutes. It is looking really good. It's simmered down. Oh, ow, that's hot. Use a wooden spatula to slightly crush the chickpeas. Ooh, how smooshy do we want it, Jabby? Very, very smooshy. Damn it, I'm salivating at the mouth. Achar, can we just eat this now? Okay, okay, a few more minutes, a few more minutes. I have to add a couple more things and then we're done. Taste and adjust salt and seasoning. Ooh, would you like to taste it, Jabby? Yes, I would. Hot, hot? 
just kidding. Oh, how is it? There's spicy. still some additional spices that need to be put in here. It's spicy. Is it spicy? Already? Yeah, it's spicy. Oh, yeah, baby. And then the final jewel in the crown, the Dwaraka Spice Blend. I just want to eat. She is killing me. What, do you have more? How much more do you have to yes. put in there? Okay. How much more? I'm slaving away over here with the camera. <laughs> A little bit of lemon. It's always important to taste the food, especially for the chef. Eating it. Shut up. All right, Jabby, I think we're ready. Are you playing with me? No, for realsies. This is it. This is the moment. The moment that Jabby has been waiting for all night. I have prepared some basmati rice and also some naan, which I didn't make, but I bought from the supermarket. I specifically chose this dish as well because, you know, it's healthy, because we're trying to eat healthier right now, but also because it's vegan, has no dairy, so it is Jabby safe. Can you hurry? Yes, okay, let's go, let's go. Do you want to taste it at the same time? What was the question? Do you want to taste it at the same time or do you just want... Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This tastes so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's really yummy. I love all the spices. And this is actually really easy to make. I'm almost convinced that you could make it, Jabby. I'm convinced that I can get you to make it again. It's really, really tasty and so healthy. Oh, here's one thing that I forgot to tell you about Dwaraka. They are available in Asian markets or Indian markets in the US. The coolest thing now is you can get it on Amazon Prime, mm. which is gonna change my life. You don't even have to leave your house. I'm old about that. Can I order it online? Yes. Bring it, everything. Where else is it sold? At Indian markets. Amazon Prime delivers it quickly too. Mm. It's so good. Wait. Oh, you want a non too? Damn it. I'll make you more. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, Dwaraka Organic, for sponsoring this video and for pushing me out of my comfort zone to make some delicious chana masala. And I want to wish you all a very happy Diwali. I hope that your lives are forever lit with brightness and happiness and good health and wealth and success and all the wonderful things for you and your family. Thank you, Dwarko. I wish everybody a happy Diwali. What's the other one called? Happy Dipapali? Dipavali? Dipavali. Happy, happy Dipika Padukon. I hope everybody has a safe celebrations. Yes. Hug your loved ones. Yep. And the ones that you think you're gonna love. Eat what some the? good food. Yep, eat some good food. And let me know if any of you guys are eating this same dish as well. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. All done. Uh, thank you to Dwaraka for sponsoring this video. Very, very much appreciate it. This is super, super tasty. Highly recommended from the jabs, the Indian food aficionado. That's right.